What's up, folks? Um, not sure if you sh saw yesterday's episode, but um, Ben, my co-founder of uh, Transatlantic MMA, did a quick video on um, five of his best or favorite fights on uh, YouTube, free right now. Um, fortunately, we get the package here in the States with um, Disney Plus, ESPN, and Hulu. So I've got that, which gives me access. But if you want to look at some you know, good content on, on YouTube for free, um, there's a lot of really good fights on there. So yeah, um, not going to get into his, obviously, but um, kicking off my kind of top five, although they're not really in order. Um, Zabit and Kyle Bothniak. Um, I don't think I'm pronouncing either of them correctly but anyway UFC 223 um fortunately a card that I uh, attended live in Barclays Center right around the um right around the corner from from where I was living at the time which was very very nice so um yeah absolute war that was that was one of the best fights I've ever seen live um there was beer flying all over the place. I've never seen so many people beating their chests in, in one, uh, one space. Um, absolute war, get on that. Um, you know, three rounds of pure chaos. Um, Zabit is definitely the kind of better and cleaner of the two strikers, but Kyle just will not go away in that fight. Um, absolute bomb burner, give it a watch. You know, if you can't watch the whole thing, make sure you, you flick to the last 20 seconds of the third round. Um, you will not be disappointed. Um, moving on to one that was a lot more painful for me, um, which I'm actually very surprised is actually on YouTube. Max Holloway, probably my favorite fighter in the UFC um, versus um, Justin Par Dustin Poirier, who is another one of my favorite fighters. Um, that was UFC 236, so relatively recent fight of the night, um, which I believe was slightly overshadowed with Gastelum and Izzy that took place right before that, which I believe went on to be the fight of the year. So, um, yeah, in my opinion, it seemed like Holloway just didn't carry enough power up to 55 and Poirier really looked at his very, very best. So that is both technically um, brilliant as well as just seeing two of the cream of the crop, 45 slash 55 fighters go at it. And it's, um, yeah, it's a brilliant, brilliant matchup. Um, going back a, a lot further um, to Dan Henderson, one of the best guys probably in the UFC. Um, obviously, somebody for me who I feel was arguably one of the best fighters ever in the UFC that never won a belt. Um, you know, former Strike Force champ. Um, he faced off against Shogun Rua for the second time, um, who was obviously a former UFC champ. Um, this was this was a rematch. Um, very very good first fight as well. So if you have time, watch both. You won't be disappointed. It's a little bit slow to get to get going, but um, I think once it kind of felt each other out after the respect that they show for each other after the first fight, there's chaos that that ensues. Um, there's a combination of of Dan kind of rocking Shogun. Shogun then comes back and rocks Dan, and it ends up leading to um, to a very very clean KO. Um, wanted to get off of sorry for the next one. I wanted to get off of the UFC um, because there's other divisions with very very good fights as well. Um, so this for me is one of the best fights that I've seen um, in Bellator. Um, this is only a couple of years ago as well, and it goes to show you the level of talent that Bellator have in the division as well. Um, you know, I, I feel a lot of people are guilty of watching the, the UFC and, and only the UFC, and uh, you know, there's plenty of other organizations out there that are offering excellent fights. So this next one is Derek Campos and Brendan Gertz three, um, Bellator 181. So as I said, it was 2017. Um, just an absolute strike is the light. Um, you know, it's a great technical matchup, but at least from memory, I can't remember them having a particular disdain for each other or one another. And if you're watching this fight and you don't know anything about them, it looks as if they hate each other. It looks as if this is like, you know, two jocks in high school that have been fighting over some girl that's been fucking both of them. Um, that, that's what it looks like. It looks like two... Two, two lax bros that are 
trying to get after one another and have all rights to ego after that fight. That's what it looked like. Um, genuinely one of the best fights I've ever seen. Again, I'm, I'm confused as to why that's a free fight on YouTube. So absolutely look at that. Please do yourself a favor. That is one of the best fights I've ever seen. Um, and mostly stand up as well. You know, there's very little clinch work. Um, doesn't really go to the ground, at least from memory. Um, so yes, do yourself a favor and watch that fight. Um, last one that I want to mention, and please keep in mind, this is no particular order. These are all just great fights and happen to be free. And I'm sure most of you know that nothing is free in, in this, um, this day and age, but it comes in, comes in handy when you're uh, in the middle of a quarantine and you have free things to watch. So um, last one to mention, back in 2005, Chuck Liddell versus Randy Couture, the second fight. Um, this does not last long. Um, Again, you know, there's a little bit of respect from the first matchup. It uh, starts off, I wouldn't say slowly, but, you know, they feel each other out. Things really get going. Um, there's unfortunately a little bit of an eye poke um, issue, in, you know, relatively early in the round. But uh, make sure you, uh, you keep track after what happens pretty quickly after that because, uh, yeah, it ends abruptly. Let's put it that way. And, I'm sure you're going to notice the uh, the celebration that follows soon after that. Um, and that was actually, actually, I can't give you too much detail without ruining the ending. But um, yeah, it was relatively historic. Um, it was a big, big rematch at the time. Um, so yeah, do yourself a favor, watch all of these. going to provide links to um, to all of them below. So make sure to have a, have a click on that. Um, yeah, they're all full fights. So enjoy them um let us know your your thoughts you know if you if you've come across any other gems on on youtube let us know we'd be happy to share them um and we hope you um yeah we hope you enjoy the uh the content over the last couple of days and hopefully they um take you away from jerking off for a few hours at the very least and uh yeah well i mean you might want to jerk off over fights i'm not sure i'm not going to judge but uh enjoy